Greetings all, Professor Gomes here. I just want to take a few minutes of your time to um, go over our course. Um, what I'm trying to do here is to, I'm recording this on Monday the 21st, so our course starts in two weeks, but I just want to record this so when we do begin on January 4th, that we're ready just to dive in. So any questions that you may have, lingering questions, I can hopefully answer in this video. And of course, I'm always available by, available by email and, and the like. A lot to do. Um, I've done intersection classes, geez, seven, eight, nine times. And to be quite honest, when you do it face to face, we're meeting four hours in class for 10 days straight. And it's all that in a bag of chips. Uh, good news is you get a whole course that normally takes 15 weeks. You get it done in two weeks. The bad news is you're going to do the work in, in two weeks. So um, let me get started. I may, if necessary, produce another video. But my main goal is to answer your questions, keep you in a loop, you know, so you're not out there by yourself wondering, hey, what do I do next and whatever. So hopefully I'll go slow enough. The good news is, is as I check Canvas, we got 25 students, and pretty much I think 20 of you all have already logged on. That speaks volumes. Um, getting prepared, I mean, to do well in anything, you got to be prepared, especially in uh, online courses. Um, knowing what's expected of you uh, is so, so vitally important. All right, so when you first log on to the course, you see this welcome message. And, of course, we're dealing with the uh, COVID virus. Hopefully, you and your families are safe. You're following the protocols. We realize that there's been a spike all over the country and a spike here in Massachusetts. And with this vaccine available, hopefully, by the uh, summer sessions, we're back to face-to-face. -face, but um, we don't know. Anyways, so first thing, um, as you're looking through this, you see a textbook is free. Um, I'll be talking about this as we move on, but we're not going to spend a lot of time in the textbook. So the fact that it's free, nothing worse than having to pay for a book and the professor doesn't even use it. So I will be referring to the text, but it's OER, Open Ed Resource. So any reading assignments that I do post, just download, go to the uh, website or just download the PDF file. Um, best way to contact me, I'm always available. I'm on my machine every day, hours a day. Um, we have a discussion board. I'll speak about that. But the best way, if you have any question, any question or questions, here's my email address. Please email me and I'll get right back to you. All right. So I want to start up is with a course overview. Once we get into the course, when you click onto Canvas, you go right to the learning modules. But initially, this is the first page you'll see. So I want to click on course overview and I'm going to X my video out so I'm not taking up any valuable space. All right, so today's the 21st. First thing you see at the very top is a, if you want to download a hot copy of the syllabus, it's in PDF format. Hopefully, a lot of you, the majority, if not all of you, are familiar with Canvas. Perhaps you've already taken an online course in either last spring or this past fall. Hopefully, you're up to date with Canvas. If not, please take the time. Click on this student guide here. All right. A lot of, lot of information, especially the easier preparing yourself, technical requirements, communicating it. Assignments and discussions, checking your grades, all valuable resources. These are all, all resources, all links, I should say. All right. Now, one of the things I've seen as I've done this since last March is that Canvas not supporting all browsers. It's not a, a big fan, not a fan at all of Internet Explorer. It wants to see Safari or it wants, actually wants to see Chrome. So please look at the computer specs. Um, I also have a link. If you're using a mobile device, you're going to have to download the app. But that will all be explained. So check this out, please. A lot of information about, hey, how do I get started with Canvas? Hopefully, like I said, you folks have had some experience with it. I'm available to answer any questions. 
All right, course description, that's right out of the catalog. Prerequisites, they're there. Textbook being free. A couple of links you can download to your, to an iBook PDF. You can view the, um, the textbook online. One of the most important things is having a calculator, all right, a TI-83 or 84. All right, a couple of ways. One is you can rent it from the college for $20. They'll add that onto your bill. There's a couple of links here to, re to request a calculator and then to set up an appointment. Once we're in the course, I actually have a link. In fact, you're seeing it right now. Um, once we're into the, um, to the modules, I actually have a link that you can actually download an emulator. It's a little tricky. It asks you for a ROM file. I provide you with a ROM file. So... If you're up to speed on that, tech savvy, you can download the emulator. But $20 having an 83 and 84. Now, if you do rent one from the library, please ask them to give you the 84 model versus the 83. They're very similar, but there are some things that the 84 does and prompts you. And it's a look it's clearer than on the 83. It'll work with an 83, but if you have the option of getting an 84, please do that from the library assignments yeah we're, you know face to face it's four hours and then you know i go through a lecture um i assign some homework we come in the next day so let's say we start on a monday tuesday we come in i first thing i do is i go through the homework and we keep on going on and that's just every day for 10 days straight so it's a lot <laughs> now when you're at home not being in a face-to-face -face class, you've got to be diligent. And it's the adjective I'm looking for that to say, yes, I'm going to make the effort to log in every day and spend that time and, you know, doing the course. Because we're expected, even though it's a two-week course, we're expected as professors, my submitted syllabus is to cover the pretty much the same material that I would cover in a 15-week course. So it's a lot. It's a lot, all right? So, I'm going to post uh, homework assignments uh, each day of our course from the 4th. Well, obviously, I won't be posting anything on the 15th because that's the last day, all right? Here's what I hear a lot. Um, you know, I'll post uh, homework assignments online, voiceovers, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. Here's a question I get. What about the homework? No, I will not collect it, nor will I grade it. It's up to you as a college student to be doing your homework and logging in. I mean, there's ways I can see how much time you spent logging in. I can sort of like say, see behind the curtain. I have the stats and that's why I've known, that's why I know that 20 people have already logged in. Some have spent, you know, 10 minutes, some have spent a half an hour. I would spend as much time getting prepared. You're gonna have success if you are prepared, you know, and the analogy. You know, football team doesn't practice. They're not going to do too well in the game. you got to get prepared for what's going on. All right. Check out this link if you are using a mobile device. Please click on that to see what browsers are available. In many cases, on the phone, you're going to have to download the uh, Canvas app from the, uh, from the App Store or Google Apps. But check out that link. All right. Super, super important. In fact, I just posted this one today. You know, as I think of things, I'm updating the syllabus and um, <clears throat> this first page here, this course description. All right. Um, exams. Be two exams. Course is two weeks. You have one the first Friday and the one, obviously, the last Friday. Now, what I'm going to do to make this to make this online replicate what I do when I'm doing face to face. If we were face to face that first Friday. The exam, I usually make them about two hours. Everybody can complete it in two hours. So what I would do face-to-face -face is I would have a review prior to actually having the exam. We would meet at, uh, let's say, 8 o'clock from 8 to about 9.30, quarter 10. I'd answer any questions and then take a little short break, come back, take the test. So I'm trying to replicate that online. All right. So each Friday prior to our exam at 10 o'clock, I'll have an optional Zoom meeting where I'll be online to answer any questions. What will happen is I'll say, hey, I've got a question. Yeah, Mr. Gomes on section three, two, uh, the homework uh, number 15. I'm not quite 
I'll pull it up and I'll walk you through it. All right. So it's optional because I know some people are working and not going to be available. What I will do is I'll record that Zoom meeting. And as soon as I'm done recording, I'll post it online. So um, people that can't attend. Now, what about the actual time for the test? Well, I'm going to do is I'll open up the exams at new time. So I'm doing the optional pre-exam Zoom meeting from 10 to 12, all right, or whenever anybody hugs off. But by new time, I'm opening up the exam, you, and there's, there's links to show you how to access the exam. It's actually called quizzes. It's on the left-hand menu of your course. It's called quizzes, not exams. Um, but there's links to that, videos to that, and how you access, and we'll talk about that. So the pre, the optional uh, pre-exam meeting, please log on to that, especially if you have questions. And don't wait. If you've got questions prior to that first Friday or the last Friday, email me or post it in the discussion board. So I open up the exam at new time. Now I'm giving you a whole 24 hours. All right, it'll be open from noon on Friday till noon on the following, the next day, the Saturday. And that's to accommodate people who are working and alike. But here's the deal, once you begin the exam, you've got to finish it in one sitting. Now people ask, well, how many questions? Right now I'm looking at somewhere around 30 questions and I'm giving you, eh, I'm giving you uh, two, two and a half hours. Time is not going to be the issue. All right? You'll have plenty of time. But once you begin it, you have to do it in one city. All right. So be aware of that. Uh, here's the link to the Zoom meeting. And it's not password protected. And I don't even believe you have to be logged. Well, I think you may have to be logged into the Canvas to see. I'm not quite sure. We'll find out on that very first meeting. I think just by copying and pasting this into your web browser, you'll be all set. All right, grading policy, that's pretty standard from the college. You know, <laughs> Canvas login policy. You know, choices have consequences, not only for you, for me, for everybody, especially in today's day and age with all that's going on with this COVID. Anyways, you're expected to log in every day. All right, it's a 10-day course. I Hopefully, you've, got, you've had some experience with um, intercession and you're aware of the fact that it's, it goes by quick. Ten straight days. Good news is you finish it in two weeks. Bad, bad, bad news is it's a lot of work in those two weeks. Learning outcomes, you can check these out. This is part of what I have to add to a syllabus. Course content, you know, things that I have to post Pretty important here, if you have an IEP, all right, or if you're in the process of getting one, please contact the Academic research Department, the Academic Disability Resource Department, and you see that there's their phone number here with an extension, or you can contact them via an email. If you have a um, an IEP, in most cases, the IEPs um, allow students additional time to take the test. All right, so if you have a accommodation letter, please make sure that I get that, especially for, prior to the um, to the exam. Uh, Netiquette an statement, all right, just things that, you know, how we communicate with one another online and we're just civil to one another. So that's not going to be an issue. All right, so please take a look at this, this calculated rental form. And those that are using mobile devices, make sure you know. And even a um, even a laptop, it, um, Canvas does not like Internet Explorer, prefers Chrome and even Safari. All right, so where I want to go from here is to go actually to the modules. What will happen our first day of class when you click onto Canvas instead of going to that previous page? Where well, in fact, if I go back here for a second, I was a little premature. You go back um, back to the main course here. All right, there's a link talks about me. You know, that's just my important, most important piece of information here is my email address. You know, my professional profile. Well, something that I have to put on there. All right, so learning modules. What will happen is if I click on this now, 
This is what I see. Starting the first Monday of the course, January 4th. When you click on Canvas, you'll go right here. There's no need to go back to course resources. Whatever you'll open up, this is called the modules. Now, if I click on this down arrow, I can minimize it. Uh, you're seeing you're seeing my screen. So there'll be things initially that'll be here that you will not see as needed. I will publish them. So hopefully you've taken a look at this as getting started. There's another guide over here, getting started. You see something that's not published, opening remarks, that'll be this video. There'll be a link to it if, after I post it on to, uh, to YouTube. There's another link for the calculator rental. And it's the same idea as before. There's a request form. You click here to set up an appointment when they'll meet you out in the parking lot to give you the calculator. Now, I mentioned about another way of you can't get around the course. You definitely, definitely, definitely need a TI. All right. It's not a regular old $10 little calculator, you know, your grandmother uses when she goes to the stop and shop to add her grocery bill. No, it's a TI, graphing calculator, $20. Now, if you don't want to do that and you're tech savvy, you can try to download this emulator. As a matter of fact, I use it. And when I'm going through problems, I'm actually recording my emulator. Here's it, uh, WebMU, and here's the ROM that it'll ask you for, because once you download the program, you have to point to this ROM image. So that's another way of saving 20 bucks, the emulator. Being successful in this course, you know, the old thing, hey, I can do this later. Well, you know, two-week course, hey, there's not much later, because it goes by really, really fast. All right, time commitment, logging in each and every day, contacting me using the Canvas email. All right, check this out, please. Um, be prepared. Be prepared. All right. Being successful, predicting. This is just a video predicting your success. Pretty nice. Talks about grit. And the whole essence of this is it's not always the smartest person who does the best in class. It's the person that's grittiest, that hangs in there, is able to deal with adversities, having some grit. Check that out, please, if you have a chance. Three ways to spot a bad statistic. Another video, a TED, a TED Talk. Interesting stuff. Uh, I think it is anyways. There's a link to About Me Again. Uh, quick Canvas links. Notifications, submitting online, using your inbox. Just references. And hopefully you've already taken a course in Canvas. But the professor may have not provided you with all these resources, things you need to make your life that much easier. Um, computer resources, basic requirements, browser support. Here again, I've mentioned it doesn't like Internet Explorer. Um, if I hit the back button here. This is something that I'll share. Notice it's not posted just yet. It's not published just yet, but a lot of videos, a lot of them I posted on to Vimeo. Some I posted on to. These here will all be Vimeo links, actually. These will actually be videos of the text that we did use at one time. It goes hand in hand with the OER book that's free to you. And I'll post the PowerPoints as necessary. Textbook and additional resources. Yeah, you know it's free. All right. And they update it often, so you may um, want to click here to get the latest. Here again, not a lot of what we're going to be doing is coming out of the textbook, so I don't feel bad that it's not because nothing worse than buying a textbook and then finding out that it's, um, the professor doesn't use it. All right. So. This is not published yet here, but let me do this. This is this is the general setup of what you'll see. All right. This is the first week from January 4th to January 8th. And each and every day, Monday through Friday, you'll see, you know, homework. HW Tuesday, HW Wednesday. All right. Once again, homework is not collected nor graded. But um, <laughs> it'd be pretty obvious to me whether you've done it because I'll know by the test results. All right, <laughs> TI guides. You may have had a TI when you were in high school. All right, 
maybe you've used a TI in another class. It's a basic guide. But if you have a question with your TI, email me. But let's face it, Mr. Google must have thousands, thousands of videos on a TI. The deal saying is if Mr. Google, Google doesn't know about it, it doesn't exist. There are so, so, so many videos on YouTube about the TI-8384, which has been around for years and years and years. I, uh, I also post videos right within the homework assignments, but there's a guide, a PDF guide. Uh, worksheets, I'll post this towards the end of our first week. These are the solutions to the homework, the PDF files. This is a, a video on data brokers. You wonder why? You get these phone calls from these telemarketers. You wonder, how the heck do they know my cell phone number? Well, it's a segment that aired on 60 Minutes about five or six years ago. Very eye-opening is why they know everything about you, and it's getting crazier and crazier. Data brokers. What makes that so nice is it's so real. I mean, after the election in November, prior to that, everything was statistics surveys and polling i mean it, it's all you hear is numbers it's one of those courses that you can learn something on a monday and apply it to your life on a tuesday it's real it's not like um college algebra let's say uh when's the next time someone's going to ask you to find a slope of the line this is a real course it, it deals with real life stuff so that's why i enjoy teaching it the discussion board all right, if you have a specific question, if you don't want to email, you can post it to the discussion board, which is kind of nice because if I answer the question for you, other students in the class get to read your post and my reply back to you. All right, the discussion board. So this is a general format of what the weeks look like. Um, these are readings from one, two, three, and four, and then we get to uh, week two. None of these are published, but it's the exact same thing. As a matter of fact, let me go back to that first Monday to give you an overview of what you can experience. I'm not going to post this just yet. It's a little premature. I'm not going to publish it just yet. We're still two weeks out. But here's a general look of what you'll be expected to do each and every day. Hey, we start out by watching a video. I call this guy Big Al. I don't know why I gave him that name, but he's very good, very clear, very concise. All right. I'm a, a big believer is don't talk to me about how to do something on a TI. Show me, all right? Videos are great because I can go back and stop it and replay them again. So we start out, all right, Monday is watching this video on section 1-1. One, one. There's a link to it. I embed them in so it plays right out of Canvas, but if you want to click on the actual link, you can. Then I'm asking you to watch uh, my voiceover. I actually go through the PowerPoint just as if I were in class. All right, I would show the video and then I would go through the PowerPoint. I'd be talking you through it. I'd be answering questions. All right, this is posted on YouTube. I'm watching. All right, I'm actually going through the PowerPoint. Now, it's a good idea that you actually download the PowerPoint to, to your computer. All right. And then some people actually, because embedded in the PowerPoints are going to be some slides that are going to be very helpful for the exam. Uh, you can use your notes, obviously. So within these PowerPoints, it's a good idea to actually download these to your to your Mac or your PC. I'm asking you to push on the section one, two. Now, like any course, the very first chapters are very straightforward. And as a matter of fact, in statistics, the very first three chapters. We go through really quickly because it's a lot of basic information, a lot of vocabulary. So, excuse me, we're all talking the same language. So I'm asking you to watch section one, two video. And this guy here is about 19 minutes. This first video was, you know, about 17 minutes, about a half an hour there. Once again, I'm asking you to watch the voiceover from section one, two, all right, there's the video. And then actually download the PowerPoint section one, two, and then things that you need to do. All right. Here's a PDF of, if I can open this up, this is a PDF that acts as your homework assignment. Now, what I've done is I've made the homework assignments very similar to what you'll see on an exam. By that, I mean they're multiple choice. All right. The same way you'll see it on the exam. Now, what you don't want to do is to go to the last page and look at the answers. 
All right, I would suggest doing it first, then look at the answers. Nothing worse than knowing what the answer is and go, oh, yeah, 14, I would have answered letter B. Well, maybe not. All right, so do it first and then go to that last page and look at the answers. All right, now, you've watched the two videos, one, one, and one, two. You've watched the PowerPoints. You've watched the voiceovers. You've done the homework. Then I actually go through the, vi the uh, homework assignment. I actually do a voiceover. Not only do I circle the right answer, but I explain the best way I can how that answer was derived. All right, so you're not just doing the homework, and here's a bunch of answers. I actually show you how I get the answers. Now, at first, they're very straightforward. Like a lot of times, it's just a definition of finding a percentage. As the course moves on, of course, the problems get more complex and more sophisticated. Therefore, my voiceovers are more important. All right, so that's all we do in Chapter 1. 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. We're pushing on here again the first day. Watching the video on Section 2, 1. All right, here again, same idea. I ask you to, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing each and every day. I'm asking you to watch the voiceover. All right, so this video is about 37 minutes. But, you know, this is replicating or replacing what we would have done in four hours in a face-to-face -face situation. So, you know, some of the days, some of the sessions, the homeworks, it'll be a little more. This is our very first one. So I'm pretty much giving you not all that much here, all right, to get you started. But the pace will pick up. The pace will pick up. It's, it's doable. But there's no way... You know, I want to get out of this for a moment here. Um, let me go back to this here. Back to my... And go back to learning module. I should create it in my, my back arrow. It's a lot to be done here, all right, in the two weeks. What I'm trying to stress to you is you kind of knew going into this going to be a lot of work all right so please put your time in watch the videos watch them more than once make use of the discussion board definitely try to make use of get uh, to that zoom meeting prior to the exams um, I'm available you can do this all right it's tough, tough times but just keep in mind two weeks I got the course done um, you may want to find a study partner or whatever whatever to to work with, and as we get close to the exams, I'll, I'll talk about how that's all going to work. But we're looking at somewhere around 30 questions, giving you up to two hours. So as I think about more stuff, I may post another video. I'm just trying to do everything I can to make you feel comfortable. This is why I'm doing this so early, all right? This is two weeks before our course starts. I want you to have all the resources, so when we begin on the 4th, there's no what do I do now? All right. So please, those five people who hopefully are watching this and haven't logged into Canvas yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> How can I say it any different? I'm here to help you. I wish you best of success. Um, we won't talk probably again until after the holiday. So wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas, a happy, safe, and healthy New Year. See you on the other side. Thank you. Hope this helps.